The next topic we'll be going over is conditional access. Conditional access provides an extra layer of security before allowing authenticated users to access data or other assets. Conditional access is implemented via conditional access policies, which are a set of rules that specify the conditions under which sign-ins are evaluated and allowed. For example, you can create a conditional access policy that states, if the user account name is a member of a group for users that are assigned the exchange, user, password, security, SharePoint, or global administrator roles require MFA before allowing access. This policy enables MFA enforcement based on group membership, simplifying the process compared to configuring MFA for individual users when roles change. Conditional access policy analyzes signals, including user and location, device, application, and real-time risk and verifies every access attempt via access controls. This requires MFA, block access, and allow access. Signals are metadata associated with an identity attempting to gain access. User or group membership policies target specific users and groups, giving admins fine-grained control over access. Named location information, IP location information, IP address ranges are used to permit or deny access based on geographical locations. Device policies can be applied based on the platform or status of a user's device. Application users attempting to access specific applications can trigger different conditional access policies. Real time sign in risk detection signals in Azure Ad Identity Protection detect risky sign ins. If risks emerge, policies can prompt actions such as password resets, multi factor authentication, or block access pending admin intervention. Cloud apps or actions can include or exclude cloud applications or user actions that will be subject to the policy. User risk. For customers with identity protection, user risk can be evaluated as part of a conditional access policy. User risk represents the probability that a given identity or account is compromised. Common decisions define the access controls that decide what level of access based on signal information. Block access. Most restrictive decision. Grant access, least restrictive decision, still require one or more of the following options. Require multi-factor authentication, require device to be marked as compliant, require hybrid enter ID join device, require approved client app, and require app protection policy. Conditional access policies are available and can be utilized with the following licensing plans, Microsoft 365 Business Premium, Microsoft 365 E3 and E5, Enter ID Premium P1 and Enter ID Premium P2 licenses. Overall, conditional access acts as a robust security measure in Azure, ensuring that authenticated users can only access data under specific conditions.